Well, hi, my amazing kids. I have missed you a lot, and I hope you're having some fun with your family and enjoying your time together. I wanted to spend some time today reading you a story. It's called The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. And some of you have built some traps. I tried to build a bit of a trap. Um, I made a box, and I'm thinking, this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping you can catch a leprechaun because they're like funny and fun. Sometimes they're a little bit naughty. And um, sometimes if you catch them, they'll give you their pot of gold. So um, let me show you what I made. I mean, I made a little um, jar here and it has some gold. It looks like gold, but it's really a candy. And then I made this jar and it has a lid on it and it has a rainbow. So I'm hoping he'll go down the rainbow and he'll, he'll want to get those candies and the lid will shut on top of him. Maybe I'll catch him. I made a disguise too, um, just out of some construction paper. And so that I would look a little bit like a leprechaun tomorrow when I go looking to see if I can find him. Dee -dee -dee. So you can do any of these fun things um, that you would like. And I'm going to read you this awesome story called The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. And we remember that The Night Before St. Patrick's Day um, is an awesome book. It's written by Natasha Wing. She's the author, so she... I know you're saying, writes the words, and it's illustrated by Amy Woomer, and she's the illustrator, so she, that's right, draws the pictures. Our story didn't start yet, got some title page. The night before St. Patrick's Day. And look, there's a little trap there, too. Another one, the story still didn't start yet. The night before St. Patrick's Day by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Woomer. "'Twas the night before St. Patrick's Day, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen." Looks like they're having a lot of fun today. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Happy St. Patrick's Day. How fun. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he'd buried his big pot of gold. And they even made a little map here, how to catch a leprechaun. Shiny ring, pull string. Hmm, I see the leprechaun hiding. They set out, they set out, all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. Look at all the different ideas people had. This is amazing. The children then nestled all snug in their beds while vis visions of golden coins danced in their heads. And noticing even the puppy is dreaming and he looks like he's dreaming of getting a bone at the end of his rainbow. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Look who's hiding right there. Looks like it's a leprechaun. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly, along. Green eggs, we've done that before. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter, <gasps> and what to their wondering eyes should appear. Uh-oh, I wonder what it is. But a terrible mess. A leprechaun was here. This looks like a naughty one. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, he must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor. They found footprints. Can you see him? Lots of footprints right there. Which that led them? under Tim's bed, 
and past the closet door, and then inside a trap. They heard someone giggling, a real live leprechaun. They both saw him wriggling. Oh my goodness, they found one. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky. No lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. Oh my goodness. Could it be? They're going to get a pot of gold. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Do you see why it's a trick? Yep, you're right. There's X's on all the stones. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you, and better luck next year. <laughs> That's so funny. Leprechauns can be pretty tricky, and they're super fun. So we read this story the night before St. Patrick's Day. And if you want to, you can look online to see How to Trap a Leprechaun. This is an awesome book also by Sue Fleece, F-L-I-E-S-S, if your parents want to look that up. It's a really great one, too. I hope you have fun this St. Patrick's Day. I sure miss you. Have, um, have a great time with your family, and I will see you soon.